Bones, buddy, pal, how's it going? You and I have been here forever, a long fucking time, well before my franchise won a Super Bowl, and um, well before everything's been censored, where bullying actually existed, where everything was actually fun on YouTube. I'm responding to your video because you're worth it. Not a lot of people are, you know? I have respect for you, Bones, and this is where you probably don't understand, but I have respect for people that have the courage, they have the time, they have the will to make a video and not try to make money off of it. Not everything's a live play-by-play -play stream, not everything is a, is a, is a sacrifice to your own will to try to make a dollar, I respect that and that's why I'm responding. Your team is going down this Sunday and I got something wrong with my eye, whatever. Your team is going down Sunday. It's that simple. We're better than you in every single aspect besides running back. Coach, maybe a coin flip. But the fact of the matter is you're not winning this game. But that's not why I'm deciding to make a video about you. I'm deciding to make a video about you because you brought up on Facebook that I was bullied out of being a Giants fan because I talked so much shit about them. Like when I was younger, I talked so, sh so much shit about them on Facebook, you would have thought that I were a Giants fan growing up because I hate them so much. I hate the Giants because whenever they have a sliver, just a little bit of success, they do something with it. And that's what I don't want. I do not want them getting anywhere near the playoffs. I don't. Now the Cowboys, you know, any Eagles fan that talks about the Cowboys hates all the Cowboys. Listen, whatever family you grew up in, it's either Giants or Cowboys. I decided to self-hate the Giants because I just... I think their fans are arrogant assholes. They remind me of the fans that used to be Philadelphia Eagles fans. And what I mean by that is Philadelphia Eagles fans used to be more harsh than you see now. Like our fans, our, our new culture that came in after the Super Bowl, that's some whack-ass shit. But it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. You know, it reminds me of my crowd that I grew up with in the 2011 era to present. After the Super Bowl, all these fake-ass fans came in. I don't care what anybody says. There's all these new content creators popping up out of the woodwork, uh, woodwork because it's easy to talk, because it's, it's, winning, it's a winning product. If we were losing, they wouldn't be talking about the fucking team. Let's be real. You and I both know this, Bones. We've been here forever. You know? But your fans are assholes. I'll never forget when Carson Wentz tore his ACL. When I went into that stadium... We are doing our Eagles chant. And the fans chanted, sorry, my camera's shaking. The fans chanted, ACL, ACL. The fans are arrogant assholes. And usually I don't have a problem with arrogant assholes if they weren't winners. If you guys get into the playoffs, you're gonna win a playoff game. The reason why I'm not worried about Dallas is because they haven't done anything since I was three years old. I'm a 30 year old man. If they do something, whatever, until I see them produce a winning product over there, I don't hate them. It's like picking on the mental kid in gym class, the one in the wheelchair that does nothing. It's embarrassing, and I'm not going to be a part of it. I want to fucking kill the Giants this week. I want to put you in your fucking grave. That's what I want to do. And Bones... I know you're a season ticket holder. Maybe I'll meet up with you. Maybe I'll go. I don't know. It's supposed to rain. But if I see you, I will gladly shake your hand and say you're going the fuck down. It's that simple. Fuck the Giants. Fuck your fans. It's all like Donkey Kong, bitch. You're going down.